Should you invest in Chesapeake Energy? Let's analyze it on growth shares. Before we begin, if you aren't familiar with the factors and metrics I use in this channel, I've made a separate video detailing everything to get you caught up. Link on the screen or in the description below. This analysis is divided into three factors, the business, the stock, and the price. Within each factor are a total of 14 metrics from business growth, performance, to intrinsic value. Each of the three factors and 14 metrics are given a grade from 1 to 100, with 51 to 60 being considered average. When we've got the three factors graded, we combine them to get our final grade. I encourage you to pause this video anytime so you can better understand the numbers. First, let's look at the business. The business examines the company's fundamentals to see if it's actually a good business to own. Here's the eight metric grades. And when we put them together, we get the company's business grade. Let's next look at the stock. The stock examines the company's technicals to see if the stock is attractive enough to own. Here's the five metric grades. And when we put them together, we get the company's stock grade. Let's then look at the price. The stock examines the intrinsic value, or fair value price of the stock. Here's the company's intrinsic value and price grade. So before we get our final grade, become a growth shares patron and get access to my spreadsheet with every grade from every company I've analyzed. It's updated all the time. Head to patreon.com forward slash growth shares or click on the link in the description. Let's put our three factors together to get our company's final grade. Here's our company's final grade. But what are your thoughts? Do you agree? Comment below. Invest wisely, and as always, take care of your money.